Alright, today is Sunday. We're doing a prime rib on my uh, Green Mountain Grill, Davy Crockett, Wi Fi. So I'm going, I'm firing that up right now. I'm going to cook it at uh, 225 until the internal temp hits 130. Pull it, let it rest for about 20 30 minutes, and then slice it. So we're not going to go by time, we're just going to go by temp. So let's go ahead and go inside and uh, We'll prep up the prime rib. All right, here we are. Here's the prime rib. It's a small one. It's a three-bone prime rib. I had them separate the bone from the actual roast, so I have mine boneless. So we'll still cook this, and we'll treat it as like ribs. So we'll cook it the same way we cook ribs. But here's the rib. Here's the prime rib roast. It's a nice-looking piece of meat. I am not going to trim anything off this. And just gonna season it with um, uh, Weber's version of uh, Montreal steaks, so Canadian steak. Same thing, just uh, made by Weber. So we're just gonna go ahead and apply this liberally all over the actual rows. All sides. Over every inch of this thing. There's a piece of bone sticking out right there. I'm gonna have to take care of that right now. Alright. Got every whole thing covered up pretty good. So now we're just gonna wait for the grill to come up the tap and we're gonna go ahead and throw it on the grill. Or the smoker actually once it's uh, up to temp. So once that's up, we'll go outside and put it on. All right, so grill's up to temp. It's at 225. I uh, got the prime rib on and the little uh, you know three bone rib, whatever. I'm gonna treat that as a little treat for maybe uh, tomorrow or something. But the main concern here is the prime rib. Like I said before, we're gonna cook it at 225. And we're not gonna go by time. We're just gonna go by temp. So we're gonna hit it. Uh, we're waiting for looking for an internal temp of about. 130 degrees, we're going to pull it and let it rest for like 30 minutes after that, then slice it. Um, so I got it on my Green Mountain Grill, and it actually has a you know a temperature probe built in, so uh, on these Green Mountain Grills you can set a profile within the app, because you can connect to it via Wi-Fi, and uh, I set it to cook at 225, and then once the internal temp of the meat hits uh, 130, it'll go into a warm mode automatically, which is, is very cool option that Green Mountain has on their on their smokers because the, the Wi-Fi whole Wi-Fi Wi-Fi deal in the app and stuff has a lot of different options you can do, and the probe you know goes into the meat and it, you don't even have to come outside. You can just check everything from your phone, which is pretty cool. Uh, but anyways, so we're just gonna let it cook, and uh, we'll come back once it's done and show you the finished product. See you in a bit. All right, here's the finished product. I think the total time was like three and a half hours on this. So we're going to go ahead and slice into it here and see how it, how it came out. Looks good to me. Yeah, that's beautiful. Look at that. Perfect. Look at that. Perfect, perfect, perfect. I'm going to snag a little piece here and taste it. Good. Came out real good. I say it's a success. Really good. Came out good. Cooked it at 225 for about three and a half hours. But I didn't go by time. I went by internal temperature. At 130, I pulled it and let it rest for like 20, 30 minutes. Now I'm slicing it and it's it's perfect. And we're going to serve it with some uh, carrots and a juice sauce and a salad. And that's dinner for tonight. All right, guys. Till next time. See you later. Bye.